Agriculture was and is still the mainstay of the state's economy. Adoption of new technologies to transform agriculture into high productivity and profitability was the need of the hour. In India, rural areas have been using fertilizers which contained chemical components which in the long term harmed the land rather than helping. In recent times, seaweeds are emerging as alternative renewable biomass for the valorization to prepare useful materials having commercial value and liquid seaweed plant biostimulant is one of them. Till date, plant biostimulants used in our country are important and are mostly prepared from seaweed grown in cold water. However, scientists in India have proven the efficacy of sargassums, which is abundant in Indian water as plant biostimulant. Apart from sargassum, Kappa ficus alvarezi, which is a tropical water seaweed, is being cultivated in India, is found to be an excellent plant biostimulant. After rigorous field trials on several crops all over India, for utilization of seaweed-based hydrocolloids in the country, requirement of carrageenan is approximately 500 tons per year. And on the other hand, India is producing 50 to 60 tons per year. Similarly, for agar, agar rose and alginate, less than 50% of the domestic demand for the hydrocolloids are fulfilled by indigenous production and rest of them is being imported. It is because of this shortfall, a large amount of the seaweed hydrocolloids is being imported by the country. India has a 7,500 km long coastline and Indian seawater is the habitat of more than 800 different species of seaweeds. Many of them are abundant in nature and some of them are cultivable which is important from the viewpoint of biomass availability for enabling large-scale industrial exploitation. To meet the demand and provide worthy alternative, scientists at CSIR, CSMCRI started working on it. Today they have succeeded in developing technologies in valorization of seaweeds such as Carpophycus alvarezi, Gelidiola serosa, Gracilaria dura, Gracilaria edulis and Sargassum. CSIR CSMCRI Bhavnagar devised raft method of seaweed cultivation and has also invented a technology for production of sap of the seaweed Carpophycus alvarezi. Along with a residue that yields Kappa Karaginan, the sap derived from fresh Carpophycus alvarezi is an effective biostimulant. It is inexpensive, which makes it suitable for broad acre crops. And its price point makes it affordable and within the means of a small and marginal farmer. Preliminary studies at CSIR CSMCRI showed that the foliar application of sap in dilute form resulted in yield improvement in number of crops. Liquid seaweed uh, fertilizer or, or we call liquid seaweed biostimulant, uh, we have actually tested it across uh, uh, vast geographical area in India. Irrespective of agroclimatic regions, we have found them very successful in improving crop productivity uh, in the range of 11 to 33 percent over and above the recommended dose of uh, chemical fertilizers. And we have got a tremendous uh, good response, uh, in fact, in uh, very many farmers field, farmers field in uh, large acre uh, crop trials carried out in collaboration with various agricultural universities uh, in 20 states in India. The integrated technology has already been commercialized and one of the licensees, Mesa's Aqua Agri Processing Private Limited, which has set up processing plants for SAP and had been marketing the product. It has recently tied up with IFCO to take this affordable product to Indian farmers. CSIR, CSMCRI has also conducted training for farmers across coastal regions and is helping them in pursuing seaweed cultivation. The seaweed cultivation is actually done by coastal fisher uh, men as well as fisher women. So they are indirectly or directly benefiting uh, by way of seaweed cultivation. Then the industries also when it is being set up, a lot of uh, rural folk gets employed. And then when it comes to the farmer uh, application, 
when you get a lot of uh, yield improvement so that basically gives a lot of uh, earning extra earning uh, by the farmers csir csmcri have been rewarded for developing this technology growth is a phenomenon yet within the reach of man only a small effort and a strong vision is required